I feel like we can run the table. I really do. Giants looking for a stop. They're going to air it out. Rodgers does this better than anybody. End zone. Cobb. Touchdown. Unbelievable. This to send the Packers into the NFC Championship game. Posse Packer Nation, welcome to another episode of Not Pack Ass, but NFL Predictions. I'm your host, Tom Grossi, coming to you live on my birthday, September 16th, 2017. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a birthday episode extravaganza, so I'm going to get out of here real quick because uh, the beer is a calling. But I couldn't leave you without having some predictions breaking down this week's matchups. Now, last week went 9-5. and five. It's okay. Nothing amazing. This week, some tough matchups, but I think we're going to do better. So let's get right to it. Boom. First of all, Cleveland, Baltimore. I don't care about this game in any way, shape, or form, but I'm picking Baltimore. Even though Cleveland like has like a tiny bit of hope, I'm sure that uh, they'll be gone by week two. So I'm picking Baltimore in that. Buffalo versus Carolina. I think Carolina is going to prove to be uh, too tough for them, but Buffalo has a very tough defense. It'll be interesting to see what Christian McCaffrey can do this week after not really impressing out of so many touches of the ball last week. I'm going to pick Carolina with this. Uh, Arizona versus Indianapolis. Both teams looked god-awful in week one, but I see Arizona picking themselves back up, Uh, especially you got Scott Tolzien, former Packer, but I don't think he's going to be able to get the job done, so I'm picking Arizona with this. Tennessee and Jacksonville, I think this should actually be a really good game. Jacksonville, if you picked them up for fantasy, their defense last week, holy crap, did you get fantasy points. I don't see that happening again. I'm going to pick Tennessee for this one. Another great game is Philadelphia versus Kansas City. This could go either way. I'm going to pick KC in this one because I think that defense is just better than Philadelphia's. And if listen, if Tyreek Hill uh, can do what he did last week and Alex Smith can not turn the ball over, Uh, and their running back can just continue to run all over people, they'll get the victory there. Uh, You also have another great matchup in New England and New Orleans. Again, not the start that either of those teams wanted, but I see New England taking it here, but I wouldn't be surprised to see a high-scoring game. Minnesota versus Pittsburgh, another fantastic game. I'm going to pick Pittsburgh just because I hate the Vikings. There's no other reason. It's just because I hate you Vikings. I hate you. Also, we have Chicago versus Tampa Bay. I am very excited to see what Tampa Bay does this season. We were talking about that in the previous podcast episode from Thursday when I interviewed a Falcons fan. You could check that out on this channel. Uh, it was a fantastic interview. We talked about the Super Bowl, et cetera. Uh, but I, I'm going to pick Tampa Bay. Even though Chicago looked really good against the Falcons, I, I'm, I, I'm, I might be a Tampa Bay believer. I watched them for hard knocks. It was really cool to see. I, I think that they have some real talent on that team. Uh, You're also going to have Miami versus the Chargers. I'm going to pick the Chargers here in Miami's first official game because there's no Hurricanes this week. Uh, The Jets versus Oakland. I think everybody's picking Oakland here, and I'm going to do that as well because I just don't see the Jets doing well at all. Another fantastic game is Dallas versus Denver. Uh, This game could really go either way with Denver's defense looking super-duper impressive, um, but Dallas is high stakes offense. I'm actually going to pick Dallas here just because I think that they can put more points on the board and Ezekiel Elliott is playing for them. I'm going to go with Dallas. Uh, you also have Washington versus the Rams. Uh, this is another tough one. The Rams put up a ton of points last week. Are they going to be able to do it again? Perhaps I'm going to, I'm going to go against my better judgment and I'm going to pick the Rams to win this week. Uh, San Francisco and Seattle. I see Seattle getting back on the horse and, and, demolishing San Francisco because really what does that team have uh nobody uh also the game I think of going to be the week is Green Bay and Atlanta it should be a very very high scoring game and while I am giving the favor to Atlanta because it is in their it's their they're christening their new stadium it's it's the first game there they do have home field advantage I'm gonna pick the pack I'm gonna pick the pack We're going to avenge last year's NFC Championship game. We're going to get the victory. Uh, And then Detroit versus the Giants. I'm going to pick Detroit. Detroit looked really, really good last week, and the Giants looked really, really bad. So if Odell Beckham plays, that could shift the field. But at this moment, I'm going to pick Detroit. 
Um, so yeah, those are my picks. What are your picks? Uh, let me know. Do you disagree with me completely? A few of these can go either way, but uh, let's let's build that record back up. You could always find me at TomGrassiComedy.com. That's T-O-M-G-R-O-S-S-I Comedy or at TomGrassiComedy on Twitter. Check out PatCast, P-A-C-K-A-S-T on Facebook. Uh, well, on Facebook. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we have a Facebook. Uh, we're on SoundCloud. We're on iTunes, Google Play Music, and YouTube every single week. And again, check out that Falcons interview I did on Thursday. We're also doing a giveaway with a free Grassy Posse t-shirt, and I will sign it or do whatever you want with it. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy this weekend in the NFL. Should be a great week. There's a bunch of really, really good games. I'm going to go enjoy my birthday. Hopefully, I'll be awake for tomorrow. And as always, Go Pack Go! Go Pack Go!